of three, two, one. We are live. Thanks for everybody coming out. Good night. No, <laughs> that's all we got. We're, What's we're going spent. on, everybody? There's no one speaking. Oh, I thought this weird. was a Zoom call. Oh, this thing's broken. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, everybody, for joining tonight. I just want to see who's in the chat, actually. We saw we saw Guy Davis was here, and yeah. I was I was happy with that. Excited, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm happy <laughs> to see him here. So we got uh, Trev, we got Brian, we got Ryan. Brian, Ryan. Brian, Ryan. And they're back-to-back -back with that. Look at that. Nice. And we got, uh, I think it's Cohen. Sorry if I butchered your name. I'm terrible with names. I'm su super sorry. But what's going on? Yeah, I'm not good at reading, so... We got Ron's wood turning shop and stuff. We got whiskey straight out up in the house. Nice. What's up, Al? We've been hiding under a rock. With, uh, Al. Yeah. We've, we've done some things. Yeah. We haven't been out yet, but we've done some things. <laughs> but we've also done a lot of nothing. So. A lot of nothing and yeah. things, right? Well, I mean, we were doing other stuff. Well, that's what we, if you want to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know I was busy. I don't know about this guy. But I was just lounging on my couch. Oh, Dusty Dan's in the house. Hey, what's up, Dusty? Yeah, Dusty. And we got a little press man action. Nice. What's up, man? I think we're all caught up. We'll try to catch up with all you jamokes <laughs> as you come in the chat. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, buddy, what do we uh what do we got tonight? Okay, so Neil called me up. Oh, I think he called actually. I did call did you. Call. Yeah. Um that he's like, Hey, I found the newest release of Larceny. We need to try this out. Yes. So it was like was it, it was just a few days ago, and he yeah, was like, it wasn't. Can we do a live? Can we do? I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so here we are, and we actually have all three releases. We just happen to have. We, so yeah. we're gonna try this because this is like hot off the press, if you will, <laughs> and then we're gonna uh, try the other ones and see which one we like. Because I I know we've had the uh, was the a the a one twenty. Yep, and people were saying it's hot. And it is, yeah. it's a little hot. It's got some heat to it. But what I was doing is I was, instead of just drinking it out of this, mm -hmm. I was putting it into a snifter. Snort and, man. That, and that just took a little bit of that heat away. And I, I love it. I'm happy with it. So I'm pretty excited to see what this is all about and see if like it's gotten better or this release is better or yeah. worse or just what's happening, you know? What's going on with it, right? Because yeah. it, it tends to be, you know, here's interesting is that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Tends to as you go through the releases, the A, B, and C. Um, C tends to be like really good. Like it's, it, I usually tend to, um, you know, like C. I like some of the A's, but I, I tend to like C. So interested to see with Larceny what we got rocking and rolling with this because, yeah, it's, it's C. Yeah, it's C. And we didn't have B yet. It was like we were, we live in PA and all we saw was a yeah. bunch of the A. We never saw the B. And then all of a sudden I walk in the store and there's C sitting there. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of weird. Just skip over it. So um, unless they just didn't get as many, God knows with PA, yeah, <laughs> you know, knows. or hey, maybe A didn't sell like they thought it would, so they didn't bring any B in. Who knows? I don't know. God knows, buddy. All right, <laughs> so should we pop it? Yeah, let's pop it, man. Let's yeah. do it. So uh, with people this, are waiting. They are waiting. They're they're probably trembling. So uh, if you don't know, this is C920. Oh, oh, get her in back, there. Buddy. Get my her back. in it. Your back. Your front. One hundred and twenty-two. 122.4 proof. All right. Set I don't it. think it focused on it. So, no, probably it's good thing you said it. Shit. <laughs> well, this is 123.2. Yep. 122.4. Do we know 4. what the B is? B is like one. Oh, if anyone in the chat knows what the B was, I can't. I actually don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, um, so, let's give this a shot. Has it been a long week for you, buddy? It has been. And this just needs to happen with the uh larceny i know my monday was rough monday was rough oh, yeah i was a little heated on monday well this will make your monday go away yeah actually yeah. i think that's when we were texting wasn't it, it was monday you, i said something to you about it and you were like oh then we definitely need to do this <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need to rock out to it all right all right let's dive in so um all right guys so uh everybody cheers cheers thanks again for tuning in mm -hmm. appreciate it friday night too yeah, yeah. Just shows what we have going on in our lives. <laughs> Drinking some bourbon. <laughs> it, it, yep. All right. Yeah, I mean, it smells oh. like larceny to me. <laughs> and we're done. Okay. Now, 
The nose, I'm I'm getting into. You're definitely uh, getting that high proof alcohol. You kind of got to get. You got to waft it off. Yep. But honestly, there's some really. I'm getting strong maple on this. Yeah, and definitely I could see the maple. And you know it has this this nice sweet character to it. To it. Yeah, it's got proof to it. It's, it's again a little bit little hot off the nose. I probably recommend letting this kind of sit out in the glass for a little bit, maybe ten minutes. So All right, so we'll do we're that. just going. Yeah, no. we'll just stay, stare. We'll do at the that. Stare at you guys. Um, the one thing that's popping out for me is like a cannoli. There's like cannoli. Oh, the filling. Going. Yeah, the yeah, filling. Yeah, yeah. That that you know that yeah, ricotta and it's, cream. But there's almost a little dough. Chips. There's almost like yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. A little bit of the dough. Yep. Liquid cannoli. I'm I'm down with that. Yeah, it is a little bit of liquid cannoli. I'm almost getting. Dare I say, like a little spice note, though. Oh, there's there's some spice kick. You know what I mean? But it's there. it's to me, it's it's kind of laying way under. Like if if you weren't really digging for it, you might you might overlook it. You know, the more more I'm kind of letting this just kind of go in the glass, it's starting to kind of really open up. I'm I'm getting um, you know, a lot of the notes. I, you know, there's like this dark fruit note, maybe like a black cherry, something along those lines. That I'm yeah, kind of getting. Yeah. It's um, it's not like. Yeah, like a black cherry kind yeah. of, you know, thing. Yeah, yeah just... almost like chocolate cup with like with with her in that syrup. Yeah, like a dark syrupy, almost candy kind of. I get a little like candy cherry yeah. off of it. You know, buddy, I'm gonna go here. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. I think I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the nut world. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Ludens. <laughs> Ludens. Um, yeah, I'm going to this. Is, this has a nice pronounced nuttiness for me. I'm kind of getting like a. Uh... Do you know those? What are those nuts that are covered in chocolate? Yeah, there's like kind of candied nuts, but not necessarily. Oh, pecans. Maybe pecan. Pecani. Pecans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pecan, pecan. Pecan, pecan. All right. Wow, that's a that's a nice nose. Yeah, that's... it is. It's settling down on the alcohol. It was pretty. Yeah, so if you're worried about it being really, really hot off the nose, it has a little kick, yeah, but a little it's, bit. it's starting to kind of calm down. Um, we'll have to. I, I can't wait to kind of see it next to the A120. So, so is Dan saying that he he's had it? Dan, have you had it? Are we, is he right here? Is this him? <laughs> what did he say? He said we're gonna find it sweet. All right. Just like you, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got we got more people in here. We got Alan from the uh, the Whiskey Friend hey, channel. What's up, man? Go subscribe to him and Dusty Dan. They're both. Freaking awesome yeah. and big Al, too. Yeah, good all. Of them. Yeah, man. Thanks for thanks for stopping in. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's go. Let's see what's what's going on in the palate because it's got a nice nose. I'm liking it. It does. It's taming down. It really mm -hmm. is for being, you know, getting that alcohol out of out of the glass. Oh yeah. Not all the alcohol, obviously. But yeah, we want to keep some of that in there. All right. Well, cheers. Right, cheers, buddy. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Wow, I got like a oh I got a heavy oh I don't know if I want to say it. Hang on. Let me take another sip. Go ahead. I'm never gonna judge anything by the first sip. No, yeah. Lays on the palate nice though. Lays on the palate real nice. It's just soaking everything in there. Go ahead. I'm gonna... We go. I'm gonna plant this seed in your head and see if you agree. plant the power seed. suggestion plant works the here. Seed. Peanut butter cup. Oh, you son of a bitch! I got that initially right yeah. off of it. Yeah, because you get some of that milk chocolatey. You get chocolatey and the little bit of nuttiness that you're talking about, and it just mm -hmm. hit like a like the first bite mm -hmm. of a Reese's peanut butter cup. Absolutely, hundred percent. And yep, you know it is sweet, so it, it kind of has that candy. Damn it, Dan was right. Cut thing he was. Slide dog. <laughs> now I'm getting hit with some brown sugar on the finish. And when I go back to the nose after taking the first sip, that brown sugar kicks out. And a lot more of that pecan nuttiness or peanut butter, like or pecans yeah. that are mashed up, you know, in like a a pecan cup. <laughs> yeah, I no, I can definitely get brown sugar. Yeah. And the way the spice kind of hits the tongue, I'm sure, at least I hope everybody out there has 
taking a spoonful of brown sugar at some time in your life. Oh, and just you almost with the spice almost gives you that same kind of like granule th- feel on your tongue. It does. And then you get the brown sugar, and then I'm I'm still finishing with that like peanut butter cup kind of thing. Man, I, that's really that's that's super solid. Um, and nothing's out of balance. If it, it feels very. It feels it feels nice. That there is spice there, so it's not just like all sweet, like some of the Buffalo Trace products out there. It's right. just all just really candy, like soft sweet. And sweet. Yeah. This is this is has that spice that's in there. And everyone thinks, as you always say, it's like everyone always thinks, oh, weeders don't have any, you know, it's low yeah. on spice. Actually, the last couple of weeders we've had have been plenty of spice. Plenty in of that. spice, yeah. And but not not over the top. So to me, like this, the finish is hanging on too. Like I'm getting a good mouthfeel. Yeah. You're getting a big nice hug in the back, and I'm like, I'm still feeling pretty good right now, buddy. Just yeah. off that, it's like real warming. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, we got some new Jamokes. Who do we got? We got a uh, mash and drum, Jason. What's going on? What's dude? up, Jason? We got um Ozzy from Bottle and Bond, the man, the myth, the legend, legend. <laughs> and I saw some other person in here. Oh yeah, we got Tony. What's going on, Tony? Hey, what's up, man? Thank you again, guys, for joining. So, yeah, if you're just joining us, we just tasted the um, Larceny C920, and uh, we like it. We do. I'm very happy with that. But I want to say, if, if memory serves me correct, because it's been a while since I dabbled into the A120. Let's, shall we? It's it's different. Okay, so I'm putting C. That. All right, F this noise, buddy. Going right F to the A. Noise. I'll let you pour this one since... Look at this. I just wanted to pull the cup right off. So uh, this is in the the Mr. Neal cup. Yes. All right. So what do you want to go with the – just so we don't lose track. We'll go with the logo. We'll go with the logo. I got you, buddy. All right, so we're going to – Wait. Ooh. Not the – okay. That logo? Same logo because there's another logo. Okay. we got to get our shit to go. We really do. Jesus. Hey, you know what? I think we're doing all right. Now, I tend to pour a little heavier than Neil. Yeah, you have a nice pour. And what that says about me, just a very generous person. You are. You're more generous <laughs> than me. <laughs> okay. So what's what what's the proof on the A120 again, buddy? <clears throat> 123.2. Okay, so it's hot, it's hot a little hotter. One like one proof point. Yeah, hotter. so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. But, yeah. Now, granted, because this is science-based, uh-huh. I have nipped this bottle down a fair amount. You have nipped that bottle. So just saying, like this is a fresh in. bottle. Could it could factor in, etc. But for all intents and purposes, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the C920 though close. Like, like, yeah, I mean, not too close. You get them confused though. All right. Now, to me, that's softer on the nose. That could be because the bottle's been open for a while. But to me, that's I'm. I get more cherry and yeah. It's it's it, it, it actually. Let's go back to it. You're gonna burn your palate out, buddy. It's a little sniffs with your mouth open, buddy. Yeah, so I'm getting more brown sugar on the C for sure. Definitely more brown sugar on C. Where Which I it? like brown sugar. And this is more leaning towards the cherry. I used to put brown sugar on my cereal when I was a kid. Did you? Yeah. I don't think like I rice that. checks or something that tastes kind of bland. Right on there. Sprinkle. <laughs> my mom would let me do that, but she wouldn't let me do white sugar. Of course. I guess it's healthier for you. It is healthy because it's brown. Because it's brown. Um. Yeah, I'm getting way more uh, cherry notes. This seems not- a lot more cherry. That's more brown sugar. That as in the C. Yeah. And the alcohol on this kind of hits the the frontal lobe like oh, where this did a little bit. It didn't get all the way up in there. This is like clearing my like nostrils out. The A is I, or the C? The A is. is really. See, I'm finding it softer. Of course. I got sinus issues, buddy. So they could be already shot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sh- who God know you sniffing like 500 proof stuff. It's- oh yeah, that's fine. Cause I'm basically dead in there. <laughs> yeah. I, not as much nuttiness on this. So nope. I'm not getting, you know, peanuts or peanut butter or almonds, any of that I'm not stuff. Getting any of that. I'm not getting any of that. That's why I was really like, I guess there's always that. Like, cause I've had the larceny before. There's always sort of that memory and an expectation That'll pop up and like, oh, I, ex- you know, you sort of expect it to taste like something. Right. And the C did catch me like, all, I don't say off guard, but it's right. not what I expected. I expected it to be 
pretty close to A, but it's it was different. So let's see how yeah. much, buddy. Well, let's see how. Cheers again. Around. Cheers, everybody, Cheers. again for stopping in. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, the finish is definitely different. It is different. What's going on, man? Cheers to everybody as well. What a that's, that's a great way to say it. Yeah, that's a nice night. way to say it instead of you know. Hello, everyone. You don't really leave anybody out that way. Nobody can feel excluded. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are you getting? So honestly, just off that initial, I'm going to take another sip, but just off that initial sip, there's not as many complexities going on as in C. Honestly, it seems tamed down a little bit. It's yeah. And it's just straightforward. And it's interesting because it's higher proof than slightly, the, than, slightly than the uh, C920. So the A120 is kind of drinking. Yeah, it's it's not as drinking. It's it's not as a big of a flavor punch. Um, I find it more rounded, and I know people were really saying again that this was drinking hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, I would put it in a snifter, and it would take the edge off. Um, when I, that was more or less when I first opened it. Mm -hmm. That's actually something you recommend. Like we were talking about it, and we were talking about like, oh, people say it's hot, so I tried it, and then I tried it in a snifter, and you know, if you're not wanting anything to really punch you in the face it just takes it down a notch you don't lose i don't think you really lose anything for the enjoyment you mm -hmm. just sort of like if it's got a lot of heat or something it seems to tame it down but anyway this is definitely i would say softer more rounded more of like the fruit and less of the sweet like i'm not i mean of course it's sweet but it's not like i'm getting more of that cherry mm -hmm. than i was chocolate See, I, it's so crazy because, like, I'm getting. See, this is going to be another Jameson and yeah, <laughs> one of our battles. Because I'm, I'm feeling like it's more aggressive. I think it, it's, it's a complete opposite of than you, and that is so crazy. And for me, it's like, for me, it's, it's much of, fruitier. It is definitely fruitier. I think we, I definitely agree with you on that. I feel like, I, I swear to God, if I were to drink this, I'd feel like it would be a younger bourbon or a younger batch there's younger stuff in there than this seat. well we're gonna line them up yeah I'm, we're gonna line them up we're going off kind of like memory i don't want to mix too many yeah. things. i think we should line them up uh-huh and have a have like slug it out slug it all right so that's so i'm gonna put c here a there b here Yes, I feel it too in my loins. Yeah, well, actually, before we uh, started started the stream here, Neil wanted to do some blind, and we were talking about maybe we would do that soon. Mm -hmm. But then my thinking, and if everybody's mad, it can be bad at me, not Neil. Um, my thinking was it's all larceny, so I don't really need to blind it. I can just taste all three and tell you which one I like. Because it's all arsony, so I'm not going to be like, oh, I really like this this particular. You didn't have like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it like it's all arsony, so it's not like I'm going to be like, oh, I wanted larceny to win in my head because it's larceny's always going to win in this, right? So that was my thinking, but it could be flawed. We we could blind it, you know, later on down the road. You know, that's just what happens. <laughs> you can always blind. We later. can we can always blind later. All right, enough of our yapping. Let's uh. So we're gonna crack into B five twenty. Where'd you get and, that? Um, so we got this from Will Henderson, which I don't know if he's in the chat because he's doing some crazy hike on the Appalachian Trail. Oh, this yeah. Weekend, so. Well, you know what? The Appalachian Trail is like 30 minutes from here. So he could have <laughs> could have like got it. an Uber and came down and hung out with us. <laughs> so, Will, if you see this, that's yeah, my story. I'm sticking to it. Mm -hmm. All right. Swami. Understood. Understood. Swami's in the house from, from, uh, from uh, Canada up there. What's going on, Swami? Kids, we are. Yeah, we kind of look like kid brothers, don't we? We sort of do look like yeah, related. <laughs> All right, let's dive into this. It's only because you want to look like me, buddy. I get yeah, it. Of course. <laughs> so, Will, if if you're in the chat lurking, I don't see it. Maybe or if you in. see this later, yeah. Or we send this to you in an email. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Because he's really the one that's making this whole thing complete. He's making it all complete. 
So, of course, how do we know he didn't fool us? No, oh, he didn't. Will's a good guy. He would never do such a thing. Watch the comments later. Yeah, he's like, like eh, screw you guys. <laughs> like, dump some, like... Buddy, don't make sure you don't burn it all up in case we... It's burned. All right. It's burned, buddy. It's burned. It's meant to be enjoyed, buddy. It is. You can't take it with you. Remember nope. that. You can't take any of it with you. Got to drink it. Now, it doesn't mean you go wild and piss it all away. Just enjoy it. Andrew from Prestige Liquids. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm really on the other side of the world. I'm in Australia. What's going on? Yeah, that's, that's awesome, dude. That's so freaking that crazy? cool. All right, B520. The middle, the middle, middle the child. The middle child. The <laughs> forgotten child. Maybe that's why we didn't get any around here. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, F you. You little bastard. Yeah, that, that's some weird when you get into that whole thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is uh, there's vanilla oozing out of this right now for me. This is a this is going vanilla. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of vanilla and a, a little bit more touch of like woody notes. Mm hmm. Some of, yep. Some of the barrel and almost like a out. little barky, a little I want to say tannic because sometimes that scares people away. So all no, of a sudden, everybody's gone in the chat because I said tannic. <laughs> Just say earthy. <laughs> like er Just say earthy. Earthy always works. Earthy. Yeah, yeah, earthy works. So me and Neil used to have a good time with uh, when we were into the wine thing about like you couldn't just say pear. It's like Asian pear. It like sounds better, right? And it's like all these little things we kind of like, oh, yeah. you know, add to it to make it sound better. Some of it is a lot of fluff. I mean, you like <laughs> you like what you like, and that's what it comes down to. That's true. Yeah. There's no right or wrong. Buddy, you're like mixing it up over there. You better settle down, dude. There's less for me. I'm I'm feeling less corn influence on on B than A, if I'm comparing it to A, and I feel like that vanilla is starting to take over. And, the, and like you said, the oak is there in the nose. Yeah, I'm getting um, more more wood notes. Yeah, it's more wood perfume. Oh, I like the sounds of that. <laughs> Put on his little aftershave. <laughs> And the cherry notes are still there, so it's got a nice fruit note to it. Um, I think all of these do have cherry in it. Yeah, in I'm, way, I'm definitely picking up on a cherry, like a, a consistency of cherry in all of it. Um, maybe not as heavy as some that we've had. We've had some cherry bombs, like the Baker's mm -hmm. was like. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't, like, I shouldn't even bring up another whiskey right now. I'm just going to mess Don't you dare. It's like cherry sorbet, like creamy cherry. Like I do ice. almost, yeah, I can see a cream on that power with, suggestion, but with no, the vanilla. I, yeah, yeah, there you go. Like a uh, Rita's gelato. I haven't had Rita's in years. I seriously haven't had it. Oh, you get the little like vanilla, like little vanilla soft serve on top and the bottom, and then in the middle. You know, you get yeah, your I, ice. I know what it is, you but know, I haven't had Rita's in years because of uh, the farm down right down the street. Oh, yeah, you get so it. like a mile from yeah. my house, there is a, a dairy farm, Klein Dairy Farm. Shout out to them. I doubt anybody of them is watching, but just in case, awesome people, and it is absolutely the best ice cream you've ever had. So, if you're ever in the Lehigh Valley area, damn good, Klein Dairy Farm, you will not be disappointed, and you might see me strolling around. So maybe you want to avoid it at all costs. I don't know. <laughs> Swami. <laughs> the Unami. Unami. The Unami. Yeah, I, I know. They get into it, Swami. Yep. And I agree. It's it's dumb because me and my wife have done like dry aging. We got one of those dry agers for the refrigerator and we're dry aging stay. And, and it's like, you know, we, we kind of like researching how to like make like a filet the best it can be and uh, we have a smoker grill and like how to do all this stuff. And that, that term drives me crazy. It's just like the term, the funk. The, oh, it's, it's got that funk. What, what the hell is that? <laughs> if you can't, if you can't like describe it, does it, does it exist? Does it exist? Or is it, or is it something you just can't place, which is okay. I mean, there's always yeah. that flavor. You're like, Oh, that, what is that? That it reminds me of. So you just put that term on it and then it's like, now it's a thing and it's okay. Just got the funk. Now you got me all upset. <laughs> Let's dive into the pot. All right. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Oh, 
Now, see, I'm getting more dark chocolate on that. Not as much nuttiness, but chocolate. Yeah. You know what? That that chair, like that kind of like cherry Rita's mm -hmm. ice mm -hmm. is really coming. Like that's now it's set in my head. More of that cherry, those cherry notes come in with the vanilla. But then, yeah, maybe a little dusting of dark chocolate on there. Like powdered chocolate. Like, yeah, like, like cocoa. Little, just like a little. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, the palette's, again, coating. It's nice. You know what happens is a lot of this, a lot of this, uh, a lot of the flavors are just kind of staying at the top. They're kind of rotating around. It does hang, for me, it's hanging more just like mid palate. Yeah. I'm not getting a big like hug or finish like I did on the C. So really what I'm taking from this is that there is a good amount of variation between releases. Oh, God, yeah. You know? Yeah. Whoa, that cherry notes on that are just like slapping me in the face with a big, a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> a big ass cherry? Or big just, ass cherry in my right. face, yeah. And I got some in my eye, buddy. <laughs> You get pink eye that way. <laughs> got to be careful, buddy. You got to pick which pillow you're going to sleep I on. I guess. Right? Wow. Yeah, that, that's the fruitiest of the bunch, buddy. Yeah. For I'm, me. And that, yeah, the chocolate note now for me is it's there, but it's more like mm -hmm. um, chocolate covered fruit, like not just cherry, but I'm getting like chocolate a little bit of that chocolate but i'm getting a lot of fruit punching through mm -hmm. um all right so i'm gonna just slide mine over here in order a lot of vanilla. alphabetical order to be yeah, go alphabetical cleanse the right. palate cleanse the palate i got enough of my glass with the c i want to go back to it so all right so now we went through all three batches so we went through the january release the may release and the september release so now I want to find out which one am I preferring here. So mm. um, it's tough because here's the thing: even though we're like finding variations and like some noticeable differences, none of them are bad. Like none of no. these are like, oh, this one tastes like you know a dog fart, and everything else is you know, <laughs> dog you fart. know what I mean? Like it's like they're all good. I mean, we're really nitpicking here, so you know. You know, I, I like to, and everybody else chime in on this. Like, I do. Oh yeah, that's the C. I'm getting, I'm getting that peanut butter even on the uh, uh, Reese's peanut butter cup yeah. on, on the nose. And the, C, you know what is happening with the C too is that brown sugar note. That brown sugar note. I love a brown sugar note in a bourbon. So do I. And that's, you know, both the other batches aren't showing me that I, I just went nosed all three and i'm only getting that brown sugar i noticed from C. i noticed more like i wasn't really paying attention because i was kind of yammering on but yeah and what i was going to say is like oh, man. like i always nose them but i don't really focus too much on the nose because i don't i don't just sniff my bourbon and 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 that's you know some people may get more into that and i understand you know smell is part of taste and all that other stuff but Oh yeah. I don't for me, I don't put all I don't put a ton of weight on nose. Like I try to find difference to see what I'm picking up on, but sometimes for me the palate is so different than the nose yeah. that I don't put a ton of weight in into that. And that's mm -hmm. just me. If you guys like to, maybe you do. And I think it's a good point to bring up because I think we're all we're all You know what I mean? Like sense, sometimes you know like I mean? yeah, yeah, exactly. And I don't I like I definitely usually give a little sniff, you know, before but I don't put it even with wine. Like I would nose it and notice stuff. But for me, it's like, Hey, I'm going to be drinking this. So I want to know the palate end of it. Yeah. You I know? mean, that's what it's you're ingesting. Ultimately. You know, yeah, ultimately. exactly. So you're right. That's just my take on it. Maybe I'm wrong. I, you know, just going off the nose, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I have to admit on the nose. C for me is, I think just all together like it's more on my my side of things i like that brown sugar note i like some of the candy sweetness it's got this like cannoli kind of note that has that dough it's like you know with the cannoli with that you know with that fried dough um 
and then the little bit of the nuttiness. It, it, there's just there's a lot going on. I would with say it. it seems like there's a um, little bit more going on. Um, yeah, it's just on the on the nose, and then the palate. I haven't went back to the sea in a little bit. Let's see. I just had C. Ooh. That's getting better. That C's getting better. You know what? I noticed with the C is the finish is really nice. It's almost like the finish just kind of caresses you. It's, it's not like it has a big punch of flavor in the initial palate, and the finish stays there with you, caressing you. Yep. Maybe rubbing your back hey, and buddy, giving you so a little bit it's of basically, back scratch. It's cuddling with you afterwards. Yeah, but it's not smothering you, right? It's not like <laughs> grabbing you like this and like, oh, I love you so much. It's more of like just giving you a nice back scratch, something your grandmother would do, right? Your grandmother scratches I don't know your what back. What kind of family you grew up? <laughs> I like my, I like no, my no, back no, no. scratch. Buddy. Yeah, all right. I'm just, I'm just messing. Go ahead, give me a little scratch. Oh, there you go. Oh, there buddy, you have good nails. <laughs> um, but I mean, that's kind of what this C920 for me is. It's spending time with you it afterwards. Is. It's not making you feel cheap. But unless pushing you, know you off afterwards. That's true. It lets you know that you're there, though. Yeah, and you're appreciated. Mm -hmm. I like this, and uh, the nose too is is staying clear from any kind of, you know, aggressive corn notes or anything. Which I think the A, and my this is my side of things. I feel like the corn there's some corn notes in there, a little aggressive to me. And then with B, I'm kind of feeling. It's that big, big cherry pop with some vanilla um, injected in there. What are you feeling, buddy, with the with the with your three releases? Here? So C is giving me more of that peanut butter cup, mm -hmm. a little bit more, definitely a better finish. Um, I as you were talking, I kind of just took a little nip at all of them, and C definitely seems to be a little bit more going on. Definitely a better finish. B seems to me. Man, I and I want to use my words carefully here. Um, Earthy, buddy. Well, no, not even that. Like, I'm definitely getting cherry. Um, but A seems like you're saying the corn. I find A to be definitely a little bit hotter than B. Um, but not as... But B, actually, B seems the... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say weakest. But B seems to be the one that's like... Eh, it's 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 a little it's a little softer it's a little less going on it's a little less complex where a kind of steps up a notch and then c is is definitely um i almost feel like a came out they were pumped with it mm -hmm. and they put b out it was kind of a flop and then they were like all right we got to get something sweet here for c like that's how almost how i feel about it or think about it or both i so we're both landing on so I'm saying C, A, and B in C, in in a, order of, but none of them are bad. Like I'm, no, 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 you're no. like you know you're really nitpicking here. But um, like I think if you got a pour of any of them, you'd be like, oh, that's 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 really good. It's enjoyable. But um, C is definitely, God, just it just it just seems more complex in all the right ways. Yeah, you know that's what I have to say about that. I think they got their. I'm I'm gonna be blunt and honest. They got their shit together for this one, buddy. Because it's He's pretty just, solid, though. Yeah, I, yeah. They're, I mean, honestly, they're they're all really solid. And I think, you know, when A came out, a lot of people were really pumped. I know that they had a larceny barrel proof before. It was in 2019. They released one. They didn't like, you know, label it A or whatever. They released larceny barrel proof, and people loved it. People were all into it. Then they released the A first. You know, the first batch, and I saw a lot of people kind of mixed results yeah because i remember i got it here. and you were like hey yeah, there's yeah. like some mixed reviews what do you think and i was like well i'm pretty happy with it and me said, too oh it was hot and i was like well next time we get together i'll pour you some and let's try it and we both thought it was pretty good and didn't see it with anything to like get upset about it wasn't yeah. anything that was like a total flop no um i thought it was pretty good and i still i would still stand behind stand behind that statement it's it's solid i mean <clears throat> mm -hmm. b seems to be Good, but like not quite as much going on as A and C is just like leveling up, you know, flavor wise. Honestly, I like C, I like C the most. And I know what do we have here. So most are saying B, C, then A. 
So B is meaning their favorite. Huh. That's interesting. Bunch of wimps. That's what I say. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, because I find B to be like the most tamed. Yeah, it's it's kind of – and yeah, you could take that as being – you know, maybe the more balanced one. I think the fruitiness on well, on B is really pronounced, and it kind of for me, it takes everything over. Um, so I don't. I'm kind of like A and B. I'm kind of like torn between the two because they're they're actually different for me, and I don't know where to go with the, with those. They're kind of like tied over here, and, and like C is just like C's right. So it's like the podium, buddy. You're like, the like C sitting on yes, top. C's right. Winner circle. Right there. Right. Um. As far as is B, C, and A, I mean, here again, Neil and I both tend to like bolder flavors. So I can yeah. see B being the most popular to people because, I mean, we've, you know, we've tasted bourbon with a lot of people and try to like introduce them to it. And like, yeah, you know, anything above like 90 proof starts to scare people and like, oh, it's too hot. It's this, it's that. And they, so I can see B being like, the crowd pleaser, like everybody yeah. likes it. Everybody can drink it. Yeah. It's, it's more approachable to somebody who doesn't like the high proof and the big bold flavors. So I can see that being true, you know, and then C being so sweet and complex. I can see people really liking that. And maybe a is a little like, I'm not finding a to be overly hot, but there again, I drink a fair amount of barrel proof stuff. So it's yeah. You know, because honestly, anymore, like um, when Neil and I were in Kentucky, we got our paws on some some Blantons, you know, and I hadn't had it in years. And I tried it one night and I was like, hey, man, this stuff's pretty good. I think we were texting back and forth. I'm like, it's pretty good. But the thing that I noticed, as soon as I stepped up to something with a higher proof point, I think I went to Russell's uh, single barrel. Oh, I was like, blow it out of the freaking. I was like, man. And then I went back and tried the blends. I was like, eh, it's, it's, and there again, just dump it out. The, the I was drain. just, I just poured it. I was like, this stuff's garbage. No, no, I didn't. But it was noticeable. And like a standalone, you're gonna like it. Like if that's the only thing you had that day or that night, right? But yeah. once you step up to something even bolder flavor, it's like you sort of notice where that's lacking and weak. So mm -hmm. we. We've kind of gravitated towards barrel proof stuff is where I'm going with all this. Oh, yeah. yeah. So for me, B is just like, eh, it's, it's like these other two are kind of like they're standing. Got some got some mm to them. And yeah, B is a little softer. So but it's still solid. But it's. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't. So I can see why a lot of people would like B because there's a lot of I mean, I, I've tried like I try this and it's like 80. And then I work yeah. them up to 90 like my dad. <laughs> Yep, Anything yeah, over like 90, he's like, oh, it's too hot, you know? <laughs> so, and that's just his palate. That's, that's fine. So anyway, that's my long winded explanation. That's that. it. It's interesting. I, I think we have, I, I think whatever you can find on the shelf with larceny barrel proof, I think it's definitely worth picking up because, you know, got this for 49 bucks. You know, you're oh, getting, it's, it's a steal for that. You're getting a weeded bourbon, which there's not a lot of weeders on you know, still, there's not a lot of weeders on the shelf, and you're getting barrel proof, um, which is awesome. And you're getting a, you know, Heaven Hill product. And man, I mean, it's, 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 it's really good. I mean, hey, I mean, all of us want, you know, like old Fitzgerald, um, the nice decanters, you know, the nine year, the 11 year, 15 year, whatever, whatever, you know, one you're chasing after. The thing is, if this is sitting on the shelf, this is weeded bourbon higher proof than old Fitzgerald bottle and bond and you know the special release is not the older you know bottles the plastic <laughs> right okay. right the big joke. yeah um you know this is on the shelf and it's sitting there for 49 bucks which it, when you compare it to but... other things here again you compare that now listen there's always going to be a soft spot for Blanton's for me because when I first got into bourbon and then I tried that it was like, wow, this stuff is really good. Yeah. Now I've progressed to higher proof stuff through this whole journey and everything like that. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, you know, I, I'm never going to like totally disrespect it. Sometimes I scratch my head and wonder why it's so hard to get. But there again, if the average person is afraid of the higher proof stuff or 
doesn't like that that much boldness. I can see. I mean, it's it's soft. It's round. It's good. Yeah, it, it's good. But it's standalone good. You know, it's it's not. It does it does a lot of things right and really not a whole lot wrong. So it's not going to be like too much heat. It's not going to be. You know, it's it's pretty approachable. Um, where for the for less money you can get your paws on any one of these. To me, that's that's a better buy. It is a better buy. You know, and that's just where we stand personally. There again, if you love Blanton's, by all means, you know, stick with it or you like the lower proof stuff. Now, I think Guy was saying something about 94 proof is like nothing less than on, on, on his bar. Right here. Yeah. I mean, that's a smart move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it is a smart move because like, like I, I have a bottle of very old Barton and that's basically for my dad. Yeah, because he don't like, you know, I gave him some Blantons and he liked it, but I could give him very old Barton and he'd be just as happy with it for his palate. The lower proof mm -hmm. is just, you know, he, he just doesn't like the, the, the punch. And I'm like, well, you got to kind of not pay attention to the heat and pay attention to all the other flavors. But that just doesn't work for his palate. So and you gotta, it's just yeah. like people who like spicy food versus versus. uh People who are afraid of any spice. That's the you know truth. I mean? There again, they could have had one bad experience and now they're they're gonna steer clear from yeah, it. Yeah, they're gonna steer know? clear from it. So you could always puke from bourbon because like, you drink too much and then you're like, oh, I don't want to touch bourbon anymore. You know, it happens. Yeah, it brain, happens. Yeah, I, I had I yeah, I got I got, got tore up on up. red wine one time and just like had just and then just even the thought I couldn't even drink water out of a wine glass for like two days. Jesus. I was just like, Oh god, it's yeah. been like a no, it was yeah, just I, I I was probably dehydrated going in from working outside oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Drank a bunch of red wine with the wife or maybe you or whoever it was. And uh man, I felt like crap. And uh yeah, so and you're screwed. Yeah, screwed. <laughs> and not that I haven't screwed the pooch with some whiskey on like Thanksgiving and I didn't work the next day. Oh yeah, we don't we have Yeah, any I've had uh I've had that. So <laughs> Everything, uh, everything seemed fine in the moment. So everything always does. But I agree with what I wanted to say is I do agree with Guy. Like I try to mm -hmm. keep it 90, you know, in the, you know, 94, 95 and up. Yeah. I don't, in, I don't, in my stat, I don't really go for anything. Yeah. 80 proof is like, I can't, I just can't, I don't, just can't. So Andrew's saying, God, I can't see. I have this computer so far away. I feel like it's like a in a hallway here. I'm like looking down. Buddy, did you ever try this for you? Like, like a little. Hallway. Oh yeah, a little. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's always fun and surprising when you get an 80 proof that punches above its weight. Standard Elijah Craig is always a hit. Yeah, it, you know what? That's maybe something I gotta. Maybe I gotta try an 80 proof, and it's like, whoa, this thing's like hitting. This thing's hitting my 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 palate. I'm liking this. I, I yeah, would. You know? um, well, wait, isn't Elijah Craig like 94? Yeah, 94. That's probably like the. So basically That's what I'm baseline. learning from Guy is guys like, look, Elijah Craig and up at yeah. my bar, which I can respect totally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well done, Guy. Um, I haven't had any 80 poofers that have blow, you know, blew me away. Blew your skirt up. Blew my skirt up. Yeah. <laughs> this is. Um... Or my kilt. Yeah, you're you're wearing. I do have. A I kilt. thought you were wearing a kilt now, but you're not. No, you're just I'm not jeans. wearing anything. We see your jeans. Just a belt. <laughs> you see your Schlanson. <laughs> it's like the Big Lebowski is like. We'll cut off your Johnson. <laughs> I love that movie. God. Um. So we got a proof point. Thank you very much. D Brown. Like that D Brown. Uh. So it's one twenty two point two for B five twenty. Got it. So you're right around the same proof. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up Ron. I mean, hey man, Elijah Craig barrel proof in a campfire. That's tough to beat, man. That that really is. It sounds like uh Ron knows how to live. He's he's living. Right here. I'm just like clicking random. Yeah, just random. Is this the <laughs> one? Like, is this the one? Because I can't <laughs> see. Jesus, how far did I put this ca this uh camera back? I wanted to get the like the table on the I was trying to like. He was trying to get my kilt. That's what it was. I was trying to get the kilt. You know, yeah. That's just that's just how it works. Yeah. Oh, can't wait for Russell's. Yeah, I'm Dude, sure a lot of people. Are I'm that. a. I'm I'm just a, a turkey fan. You mm -hmm. know, and Neil says I have turkey mouth. Yeah, I, the Russell's 13 year, 
barrel proof, non chill filtered. Oh. Like, are you kidding me? I hope, I hope that'd be so cool if you could, if we, you know, we spot a bottle and we grab it. Cause everyone went ape shit over the wild turkey 17 year bottle and bond that, that, re- oh, I mean, I, I just feel like turkey is one of those. Amazing they, they, products, especially when they put out like the Russell's 10 and the single barrel. It's just like, man, they, yeah, the Russell's, they know what they know what they're doing, man. They're, they just, they know how to make bourbon, right? And rye and everything. You know, the whole thing. Yeah. Richie, I knew you would get in here. What's going on, Richie? Whoa. I just want to say, what's up, Richie? What's happening, man? But See, you one can't th- read it either, can you? Well, no, I can. I, I don't know why I lean in like an idiot. I See, can I'm, read. That's what I'm doing. I, I can't do it maybe because you're doing it. I think. It, but I just want to say, Ron just retired. Hey, congratulations, man. Oh, my God, Ron. Let's all raise a glass to Ron. Let's here. raise a glass. So I'm going to raise C because that's my favorite. Ron, congratulations on the retirement, man. That's that's a big deal. Congrats, buddy. Yeah, man, that's that's a big deal. You can flies in here or something. No. <laughs> That is that is a big deal, man. And um, enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. You obviously put in your time. Did you retire early? That would be awesome if you did. That would be a week early. Oh yeah. Now you know what though? I've I've just a little side note. We're kind of drinking bourbon, and this is what happens. We talk about things. Um, you know, just real quick, type what your plan is. Yeah. Like what do you what do you plan on doing? Anything? Are you gonna like uh are you gonna you know travel the world or just say screw it, I'm not doing anything for a year or, or what are you doing? Because it's kind of an interesting thing because um yeah. I'm I have a lot of friends who are in you know sixties and, and things like that, and it's interesting to see that those who don't retire and those who do and what they do when they do retire and how some people find themselves more busy once they retire. Like I know my dad said that he's like, man, I don't even know how I ever had time to work. Like he was so busy for the first couple of years. So. Oh yeah, man. That's like my dad, my old man retired. He, man, he was like doing projects left and right. He was loving it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, some people really embrace it. So I'm just mm-hmm. curious of uh, what your plans are, man. We also got some cigars ro- rocking and rolling right now. Here, see a couple people. I think Richie's smoking a cigar. Nice, no. dude. Where? Oh, no cigar. Why am I lying right. in here? Oh, because I'm doing it, buddy. I am. Just like if. Okay, so let's let's just touch on that cigar thing. So, my brother who was in the chat earlier. What's up, Kev? Um, I hope he still is. Cigar guy, and I dabbled and Neil dabbled, and when you strike the right combo of a whiskey and a cigar. It's awesome. I mean, it, it really is. But I, I really kind of struggled with that. Like, I just found, like, I don't know. Like, I didn't. There was a couple. There's a couple combos we had, and I, and believe it or not, Neil, Neil has a theory. You want to share your theory on what one of the best go-to bourbons is for a cigar? Yes. And Actually, I know what you're gonna say why I do that. I'll put this up because Ron got back to you on there. So, uh, my great combo. I, I, I feel like if you're always concerned okay what do i pair with this cigar and you're let's say you're a bourbon drinker i think the i think it, you can't go wrong with old granddad 114 i knew he was gonna say you that. just can't and like, I, I every s- cigar i swear to god the night that we got into this cigar it was a toro fuente hemingway mm-hmm. series okay um, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 the hemingway the short stories mm-hmm. they're just little short cigars um cameroon yep and it i believe you're right i think it was after our old granddad 114 video and it was like this is amazing yeah. like i never knew a cigar could taste this good and we sat out on the deck and we had a couple and then uh we have famous smoke shop dude it's it's five minutes from my house yeah it's an awesome place uh, of course we have cigars international is real big around here mm-hmm. too but um, I went down and bought a bunch and then, you know, we kind of dabbled in that and we got into it a little bit, but it's for me, I just, when I got a bad pairing, it really turned me off and I just found the whiskey to be more enjoyable. So I kind of like kind of hung it up, stuck with the whiskey, stuck with the whiskey. So here we are. So Ron is saying he's going to continue his wood turning, which I is awesome. There. I know. And he does. You guys got to check out Ron's 
YouTube channel. If, if you're in the chat and don't know Ron's YouTube channel, it's really cool. I mean, the stuff that he's doing. Wood turning in general is cool. I'm a yeah. carpenter by trade. Um, I, I do used to do a lot of trim carpentry, crown moldings, chair rails, all that kind of stuff. So to see the wood turning, I did get to dabble on a lathe a couple times, and mm -hmm. uh, it was awesome. So I have a lot of respect for that end of the trade. But here again, he's also going to manage a new company he just started. So, so what you're telling us is you're retired from whatever you were doing, but you're not retired. And that yeah. seems to be the key for a lot of people for longevity. Like, don't stop doing stuff. Yes. Whether it's traveling, like, okay. Keep doing it. You might not be working, but you're traveling, you're active. That that seems to be the key, man. That's, I th yeah, I think as soon as you stop. When you stop, it's, it's like over. sometimes you can stop. And like I've seen it with um, me and my wife have a theory about like the the farmer theory, we call it. And, uh, you know, we live in an area where there's, you know, farming right around us. Um, we have friends that have farms and things like that. So. But it's like those old farmers, man. They like they they never get sick until it's the end. Yeah, you know. And they're in their eighties, and they're like they're still, still working, working, still keeping keeping that. And it's like that object in motion wants to stay in motion, man. It's like that physics thing. So you that's awesome moving. that you're doing something and keeping the mind going and everything. And well, I just think it's awesome. So what's awesome too is that Patrick Fulmer, he freaking retired too. Holy Fish, holy. nap, work a little bit part-time. Nothing wrong with that. My dad is in his 70s now, and he still was working part-time. And I think, honestly, it was, it was great for him. It was great. You know what I mean? Because it's real easy to get in a rut. Like, I know if I have a few days off, I can get in a rut. So I can't imagine. I'm like, eh, I don't have to go to work, you know? Oh so congratulations on that. And fishing and keeping yourself active seems to be the key. And the reason I'm asking all this is, you know, I'm trying to study what, you know, what is the best way to, to retire and do those things? And, you know, think about this stuff and, uh, you know, try to keep, what do you got there, buddy? You I, throwing you know, a monkey wrench into the work? Two people retired. I gotta, I gotta whip something out here. So I, cause I just been dying to have this again. I've been like trying to nurse this bottle. So this is smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. They're, uh, which we do have a review coming out for. Yeah. In the near future. This is their, uh, Barrel proof. Oh, this is so good. So I just got pop this, buddy. If you want to participate, this is for Patrick and Ron because you guys are awesome and you retired. Here's to the rest of your life. It's the new, literally turning a new leaf here. So, buddy, buddy, I want a little bit. You know what? Why not? Right for these guys, absolutely. They were nice enough to spend time with us. That's Jesus. MB, MGP goodness right there. That's it is some serious stuff. And we want to give a shout out. How did we get this? Or how did you so we got get it? So from Scott from My Bourbon Journey, he uh was able to snag some bottles and he's like, yo, you want one? He hit Neil up and I'm was like, like, hey man, you want some? Yeah. And <laughs> Neil got me a bottle, got himself a bottle, and got himself a barrel proof bottle. So can't can't <laughs> fault him for that. So so well, cheer to those guys, man. Happy retirement or new ventures or whatever it is you're doing. Hell yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Oh, I'm getting some citrus off that. Yeah, there's some serious citrus. It's yeah. Like wow, what juice. a what a different what a different animal. That's that rye we just have. That's that rye. That's good though. I'm telling you. But different, but good. Oh God, the finish! I forgot about that finish. It's, oh. just, it's just continuing all in my my aura factory. <laughs> oh my God! Oh yeah, insurance. So Patrick is getting his insurance paid. Oh nice. Yeah, man. That's that's always that's always a thing. <laughs> that health insurance thing, you know. It's it's yeah. it's always a thing for all of us. We all, we all, uh, lucky, you know, thankfully for me, I'm self-employed, mm -hmm. but, um, my wife works for a hospital, so we have fabulous insurance. So kudos to her for taking care of me on that. <laughs> She'll be taking care of you when you're on your deathbed. They're like, like oh, she'll be God. like, pull the plug on this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she wouldn't. She's, she's great. Maku popped in. 
Scott, it's we were Scott. just talking about you. Yeah, it was like your ears were ringing, you sexy best. Or have you been hanging in the back? He was lurking. Yep, he's a he's lurker. Freaking lurker. He looks like a lurker, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's up, Scott? Scott, we were just toasting uh, with some of that smoke wagon. Yeah. That's... <sighs> That stuff is fire. That's like straight up. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yep. MGP spice and smoke, baby. Mm hmm. That's what I'm talking about. God, is it good? I mean, it's just, it's crazy to go from when you, we just drank, you know, three weeders, and then you go back to like this high rye, kick you in your ass. You know, yeah. it's good MGP stuff. MGP just. Fucking and, but your... what was nice is we didn't we didn't we didn't drop back to something that wasn't on the same level like barrel proof you know right? oh, it's no. a different deal yeah and it's good but I have to say man the larceny bottle C man it's if you guys can see it around and you can get get your hands on it I think you'll be happy and if not mm -hmm. just email Neil and tell him he's a jerk <laughs> you explain it all in me yeah no I I'm pumped about it so. Yeah, you definitely if you if you you definitely have to. So that's that's the uh the reason why we're all here, right? That bottle right there. Yep. Yeah, it's so that's that's what started all of this. Mm hmm So please, yeah, grab it and uh let us know what you think. Um I guess it's eight thirty. We've been on an hour, almost eight thirty. Oh my god. Yeah, it's almost eight thirty. An hour went by quick. So I guess uh, we'll let you guys, I mean, because it's Friday night, so the night's young. We'll let you guys kind of like enjoy the rest of your Friday night. I know there's other channels coming on and all that good stuff. Yeah, so if you want to click over, we we totally understand. We'll take offense once we turn it off. Yeah, we'll talk We'll talk shit behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we like to do. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, this was a fun, this was a fun time. So maybe we'll have to blind them all again at some point, you know? Yeah, and but I think I know where we're going to end up. You know what I mean? It's not like we're doing smoke wagon versus larceny versus Elijah Craig. Yeah. And we're like, oh, I think this is, and your head's getting into it's like, hey man, it's all larceny. Which one do you like? But I know. There again, that could be that could be faulty thinking. That could be faulty. It's a slippery slope once you yeah. get down there. But again, thank you everyone for coming. Um and oh, that's right. He's starting his day. Oh yeah. Yeah. So hopefully you started it with larceny. That's a... yeah. What's going on over there? <laughs> What's happening over there in Australia? <laughs> Alan's out of here too. Alan's it's freaking early for you too, Alan. Or late, late, late early, right? It's like late as hell, yeah, but what, early. What time is it over there? Fill us in, buddy. Yeah, they're both. They're Jesus, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's getting late for him. Yeah, you get get the bed, Alan. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Go to bed. <laughs> All right. Well, so I guess we're let's call it. I guess we're gonna call it. I guess we're gonna call it. Unless anybody has anything else to say. Any last words? I forever hold your peace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to everybody in the chat. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, Larceny C920. Two a.m. What time do you have to get up? Oh Jesus! Maybe he's got to get up at four. He's up before. He's like, yeah, the hell with it. I'll just stay up. <laughs> stay up at that point. <laughs> I tried that one time. Didn't work. It was bad. Yeah, it, it was works. bad. I was. It sounds like a good idea. You're like I can do it, and then you're like, oh. Well, you're you're trolling along, and you're like, good. Yeah. You know? So, and I remember when it was. So Neil and I grew up in a small. We both grew up obviously in the same town. Mm -hmm. Small town along a river, and it was during one of the floods, and I had stayed up. We hadn't, we hadn't had a flood in 50 years, literally 50 years. It was last major flood was 1955. It was 2005. You remember it. I oh, mean, yeah. you're, like, he lived up on the hill, so he was fine, but I did not. And I remember when I stayed up all night, like moving stuff and doing all this stuff. And then it was like 10 o'clock the next day. And we were like driving somewhere. And I was just like, you know, I couldn't keep my eyes open. You know, oh, yeah, it, it was it was it was bad. So yeah, it kicks I tried ass. staying. I think I stayed up like twenty six hours or something, and it that was brutal, man. Oh my god, yeah, you start getting weird, start saying weird shit to yourself, and you know. it's the fifty year flood. That's exactly what people said. It was literally, oh, yeah. it was literally nineteen fifty five. My dad, 
lived in the house that I was living in at the time. And it was literally the 50 year flood in 05. But what's crazy is we got another one in 06. Yeah. And that was, so we got flooded twice and it was second time. You're like, ah, the hell with it. you know, you were fine with it because you already cleaned everything out. Like, you know, stuff mm-hmm. got destroyed in your basement, like washers and dryers and all that stuff. And, it was a mess. And by when, what happened again, like a year later, everybody was just like, well, I hadn't really put anything back in my basement yet. So it was no big deal, but yeah, man, it was weird. It was, it was that 50 year flood. Oh, my it God. was, it was crazy. Yeah. It was, um, I'll tell you what, it was crazy floods, crazy floods. Yeah. Actually, you helped me out a lot back then, buddy. Yeah. We so came. Okay. Yeah. So my oil tank, we, we had oil heat cause we live here in the Northeast. So you got a lot of heat in the winter. Oil tank floated, busted the line, filled. So the basement was full of water, like almost up to the first floor. Mm-hmm. We were pumping it out, and all of a sudden it was just red. And that was the oil coming up oh, and floating on the God. water. And Neil mess. helped me clean it all up. And we had these, like, they make those towels that soak up oil and not water. And then we ran out of those. And oh, remember God. we used the peat moss because yep. that was what... We felt like we actually kept the basement full so the oil wouldn't hit the like hit the concrete floor and soak in. And Dude, that was it was nuts. a mess, but we did it. We did do it. So we've been we've been been we've through gone the through some stuff, buddy. We've, we've gone been, through some stuff over the through years. the fifty year flood. Yeah. Oh, of course, Richie. Of course, not really. Actually, it was mm. really slim pickings. It was slim pickings. Yeah, like bad. It well, was... we have a little bit of an age difference. Yeah. So I think. I just behind well, me, Neil. Neil went through all the good ones, <laughs> which is like one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Probably all right. So, Patrick Fulmer, cheers, man. We'll see you later. We, we I guess, we're getting out of yeah, here. Yeah, you know what though? I'm gonna take guys' advice. We should do a chat soon. Yes. And guys, we really do appreciate you hanging out with us. Absolutely. We really do. Yeah, because I mean, we'd just be. You know, just be a couple of schmoes here talking to ourselves. A couple of schmucks. <laughs> a couple of so we, we really appreciate it, guys. Thank yep. you. Well, everybody, you have a wonderful weekend. Please drink bourbon and have fun drinking it. Do it responsibly. And we have some other things to 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 share with you guys coming up. Oh, things we yeah, picked up some, when we were in Kentucky. There's some gems to throw at you. Yeah. So hopefully uh, just be looking out for those. There's and, one that uh, Neil has. Oh, oh yeah, so it's sitting over there. On the yeah, shelf. it's sitting over there on the shelf. We'll so, grab it for you guys. He, yeah, he's pretty excited about it. So yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. So <laughs> all right, from the bourbon buddies, we're gonna we're gonna chime out here. So cheers. Cheers, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Take care.